Welcome back to another drawing with, you know, me. This is one of the pop art series. Here's what you'll need if you want to draw along with us. You'll need a piece of paper. You'll need some markers, Sharpies, black Sharpies if you have them, and then some crayons or colored pencils or markers or whatever you want to use. I'm going to use these colored pencils here and uh, Sharpies. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna draw a singing angel today. So here we go. Let's start with, uh, you can do this in pencil first and then come back and go over it in Sharpie if you want, or if you're brave, you can go ahead and start with the Sharpie. I'm gonna go to the center third. So like usual, you got the top third, center third, and bottom third. I'm gonna to go to the center third, and then I'm gonna sort of in the middle of it, in the so halfway, halfway down the paper, I'm going to draw a horseshoe shape. Okay, so there's my horseshoe shape. Then I'm gonna go ahead and draw a parentheses shape going up like that and then another parenthesis shape mirroring that over here. And then I'm going to draw yet another one. This one can be a little, a little more curved if you want. Okay, so that's the top of our angel's head. Then I'm going to go ahead and come up here. I'm going to go to the center of the head right here. And I'm going to draw a thing going up. So this is uh, this is sort of like if you were in elementary school and you played an angel or at, at, at church or something, then you might have had this. I, I had one of these once in a in a you know huge musical. I'm gonna draw sort of a that shape. It's an it's an oval and then I'm going to carefully lightly draw like this. I'm going to cover this up in a second with a lot of lines, so I don't have to be too careful. So what I got there is uh, just a halo shape, right? Then I'm going to say this is made out of tinsel. So I'm just going to come up here and draw. It's looking a little crown of thorns-ish, which is, you know, more of an Easter thing. Maybe, maybe we'll do that for Easter. Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I'm going to color this in a second, in a little bit, and uh, then it'll be clearer that it's uh, that it's tinsel. All right. Now here's what I'm going to do. Let's let's finish drawing her face. We've got the top of her head. Uh, I'm going to make. It's kind of going to be a heart shaped face. So I'm going to make a curving line down like that, and then I'm going to come to. Uh, it'll be kind of a point except not a not a real point like our, our chins aren't that pointed but let's mirror this image over here and then curve it oh that is pretty pointed but that's okay i like it okay so then here's what you can do come back up here and draw a curved line like that and then another curved line like that remember Pause the video if you need to pause the video. I'm going to bring this down here like this, and I'm just going to stop there because I want to I want to draw our neck, but I'm not 100% sure where that's going to be. Uh, so let's come back up and let's do our eyes. I'm going to draw a horseshoe, but I'm not going to finish it. All right, I'm going to come down a little bit more, but I don't want this line and that line to be on the same plane. In other words, I don't want them to be the same length because I'm going to draw a parentheses like that. Okay, now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to mirror that shape. So I'm going to draw a U with one line longer than the other, and then draw another parentheses going that way, okay? Let's give her like a cute upturned nose, so that's just a point, okay? 
and then we'll do a C over here and a backward C over here. So now we've got her nose. Great. Let's give her some eyebrows. It's going to go up and touch. In mine, it's touching the hair. Yours, yours doesn't have to. That's just where it ended up. She spends a lot of time on her eyebrows, probably, so they're they're really nice. All right, uh, let's do her mouth. All right, here's what here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna come see this line right here where her eye is. I'm gonna come straight down, and I'm gonna do a line like that. Same thing over here, straight down from there, and then a line going up. So she's smiling. You I mean she's happy to be singing? Then I'm gonna draw. A curved line, it's another sort of parentheses shape. Now come to this point here and go straight down. Same thing over here, straight down here. Those should be about equal, right? And then I'm going to draw the opposite parentheses shape because she's singing. Let's come up here and let's give her, give her those dimples. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and draw her tongue. And then I'm going to color this in. In one of my trial balloons, like I usually draw these, I don't just wing it. Well, I, I often wing the coloring. But uh, I, I usually, you know, do a practice drawing to make sure I know what I want you to draw. And in the practice drawing, I gave her teeth. And it was just terrifying when, when she had teeth. So I'm eliminating the teeth. It was, it was a, she looked like she was a demon, uh, which is the opposite of what we're going for. All right, let's go back up to her eyes. Let's give her, now remember, these are pop art, right? These are, and they all kind of go together. So I don't necessarily, if I haven't been drawing realistic eyes, I don't want to draw realistic eyes on this because this is part of a series, right? They all go together thematically and stylistically, so uh, so I want to stay similar to the same eyes. So what I've done is I've given her like two half moon lights, like shining, reflecting light, um, and now I'm going to go ahead and color in black, because that's what I did on all the others. And I just want to be consistent. And you'll see, because I'm using a Sharpie on regular typing paper, you can see that it's going to bleed and those lines are going to get, or those lights, highlights are going to get pretty uh, small, but that's okay. All right, let's go. I think we're ready to bring her neck down. So I'm going to go, uh, let's do here. So this line, I'm going to come straight down from the point of this cheekbone, and I'm just going to go straight down like that. And the same thing over here, straight down like that. And now I'm ready to draw this line and it's just going to be like that. Okay. So she's got that like, you know, old fashioned hairstyle going on. Um, now I'm going to draw a little bit of an angled line this way and a little bit of an angled line this way. Okay. Now I'm going to connect them. And so it should kind of line up with the point of her chin. So remember that you can use a straight edge if you want to use a straight edge. I am not using a straight edge because I don't care if it's a little wobbly or if it curves a little bit, that's okay. Now I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to draw a line parallel to this. And then I'm going to draw a line parallel to this. Oh, about got away from me. Okay, and that's her stole. So in choir, sometimes you have a stole, and that's a thing that you wear over your shoulders. Okay, and so that's that. That's the angel. Um, you can go in and uh, make any kind of like adjustments you want to make, and that's okay. But let's go ahead and draw the lettering. Remember that we're doing like uh, these pop art things, these pop art, pop art drawings. So I want to like pretend it's advertising or like the cover of a uh, of a of a um, comic book or something like that. So I'm going to I'm going to draw some lettering on here and you should too. These are going to be bubble letters. I say this every time. I know that intimidates some of you. Don't they're just lines, right? They're just lines. I'm going to do fa la 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 la, right? Uh, we did ho 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 on Santa. We did joy on the elf and let's do fa la la here. 
So I'm going to come up here to this corner and I'm going to do a big old F as part of the fa la la. And I'm going to make these as straight as I can make them. But again, it's not about being perfect. I'm going to come out a little more. It's about having fun. And if, if you're not having fun, then you're doing it wrong. That doesn't mean you should stop doing it if you're, if you're one of my students. I'm going to make the A's a little smaller than the uh, F's and the L's when we get to them. Remember, pause the video and match these angles. Now, here's the thing. Your, your letters don't, you don't have to do the letters in exactly the same place that I do the letters. Oh, that, that leg got away. Um, you can, you can place them wherever. I'm going to do a law over here. But what I do like to do, I want them to be uh, different sizes. And then I'm going to do the bottom of an A here, a bottom of one leg, right? Just that much. Then maybe an A over here. This is a huge A. And then maybe an F going this way. OK, now I'm going to do some smaller ones. And they can go any direction. And take your time. It's easy to get impatient with this sort of stuff, with the lettering. It's less exciting than, like, figure drawing. But if you take your time and you really try, you end up with a pretty cool, pretty cool little drawing. Which you'll be able to, like, give to somebody you love. And say, look, I drew you an angel. Let's just go straight this way. And they'll be like, oh, wow. That's just what I needed for my refrigerator. There was a missing area, a blank area. And now I have something to put there. Or better yet, they'll be like, hey, let's frame that sucker, because this will be worth something someday. I'm going to do one more. Kind of a smaller one. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So now it's time to color it. Um, here's the thing, on the others, um, if you have done the others already, then I hope that you did the red and, and green traditional Christmas colors, because that's what makes sense for those. This one, I'm gonna change it up a little bit, and you can use any colors that you want for this. Um, I have used these, or I've decided to use these colors, and I'll show you what I did. So I have a bad habit sometimes of starting these videos and then making up the colors as I go, and then I mess up a little bit um, and have to adjust. So here's what I did. Let me show you. I, uh, I played around with some colors. I decided, for some reason, I wanted this to be purple. I don't know. Every time I kept seeing the, uh, the angel singer in my head, I kept seeing purple. So that's what I wanted. And so I gave myself two choices, right? I decided to go with this one. And the reason is because you can see the lines better of the different colors. And I kind of like that. Um, the, 
purple, the darker purple, I, I was afraid was going to be too dark. And so I went with the lighter, lighter color. Then I just started trying different greens and stuff like that to see which colors uh, I wanted to use. Now, if you don't have a ton of uh, colored pencils or markers or crayons or whatever, you may be limited. So just pick the basics, right? Pick purple and green and yellow. But if you've got a lot of choices, you can kind of play around and see which, uh, see which ones you like. Here's what I did then. I, did, I picked the one I liked, and then I did sort of a color palette. And you can feel free to do this as well. So I could get a real sense of like how the colors were gonna work together. And so you can see I drew an A for angel, and uh, then around that I drew, or I colored. And what I did was I tried to estimate, okay, how much of the, the drawing is gonna be purple. And it's gonna, mainly you're gonna see purple, right? So I made that the biggest color here. And then there's gonna be a little yellow gold on the, uh, on the halo. And then I'm gonna do a green stole because it is still Christmas, so we're still doing green. And we kinda, you know, purple's in, in the, you know, you use red to make it. So I'm considering it in the red family. And then uh, I'm going to give her a darker skin tone. So those are the colors that you that I'm using. You can use whatever colors you want. Uh, remember that a singing angel can be any color, any race. So pick the flesh tone that you want and go with it. Uh, and now we're ready to, to color. So I'm going to start with that. And then I'll speed this up. But you should not speed up. Remember, you want to color... Uh, crossways so color one direction so i'll start oh one direction that's a band i think i don't know i don't know if they're still a big deal in 50 years when this video is very popular and i'm rich then people will be like wait who's one direction they might not be i don't know um okay so then i colored one way right but i want to avoid the stripes if i can so i'm going to color the other way too and so that's just going to fill it in a little, in a little bit nicer way. Okay. So we've got a neck visible now. So the neck is the same color as the face. Typically. I'm trying to think of situations where that would not be the case. Like maybe with some animals. Okay, while, uh, while I'm on the face, let's go ahead and see if I can do a little bit. I haven't done a lot of shading. Again, because these are pop art and I, I want them to be, um, I want them to look manufactured and sort of um, simple, but I'm gonna do a little bit of shading here just because. So I'm gonna come up here just because we haven't for a while. And I'm just gonna press harder under her eyebrow to create sort of some depth. And then I'm gonna bring that darker color down so that uh, you got the nose. Okay. And then I might even extend it out here. Okay. Uh, good. Let's do this. I'm going to do the same thing here and here, and then maybe under her nose just to, okay, and it's pretty subtle. I'm going to draw a little triangle there and a little triangle there. And maybe I'll give her some sort of cheats over here and great. And now I'm going to sort of fade that all. Then I'm going to shade down under her neck as well, just a little. And I'm going to take the yellow and just lighten this a little under. Okay. And that's all I'm going to do. Um, now, Here's the thing. I'm going to um, I'm going to give her black hair, and because all of the other black that I ha I will do on here will be sharpie, I'm going to use the sharpie for that as well, um, so that I'm consistent. Again, you can do whatever color hair you want. 
if you did pencil, you could make the choir singer like a, a bald person, because bald is beautiful. Um, but you have to erase the hair. That's what I did with me in real life. I just erased it. Here's something I'm going to do. I'm going to, because I'm going black, I'm going to do like a black hair. I'm going to do like a, a highlight there. And I might decide I don't like it. And I can always color it when I'm done. Oh, you know what? Yeah, here's what, here's what that's going to be. That highlight I just put in her hair is actually going to be a, like a, uh, I, I, what are they called? I don't know. I don't use a lot of like hair products. There, it's like a, not a barrette. Like it's like a, uh, it's not a, gosh, I don't know what, this is weird. You would think I would know that. It seems like a simple thing. Simple vocab word. You know, you put them in your hair if you have a lot of hair. And it holds it back. Well, that's that's what it's going to be. <laughs> Whatever that is. Don't forget the eyebrows. So whatever color you color the hair, color the eyebrows that color. Sometimes if you have blonde hair, you can color the eyebrows a little bit darker. Um, great. I'm going to go with green now. So I'm going to do green for her stole. And I'm going to do green for her... Uh, this thing that I can't remember the name of. I'm gonna have to look it up and do like a an additional video. I'm not gonna do that right now though. I actually think this might be my favorite one so far. I don't know how many more I've got in me. We did a Santa, an elf, we did this, I have a reindeer. And then that might be it. I mean, how, how long are we gonna spend on pop art? There are all kinds of other arts to do like romanticism. Okay, great. Now it's time to um, color the background. So I'm going to go with this. Actually, I have to go get 250 steps. I'm going to take a break. You can take a break, push pause and come back or keep going. It will be for you as if no time has passed. See what I mean? All right. I'm going to go for the background. I am going to use this purple, this lighter shade of violet. It's shuttle 114 if you're interested in that information. All right, here we go. Um, I'm going to move this a little bit so it's easier. I'm going to do the edges. And I'm going to go around everything because that's what always takes the longest. Take your time and do a good job on the coloring. It pays off. It's worth it in the end. Remember to color from different directions. So here on the halo, I'm going to come back on the halo uh, in a bit and add yellow so and hopefully make it look a little bit shiny. But remember that you have that center part that should be the same color as the background right here. So I, uh, you know, We'll obviously fast forward through most of this cutting or coloring. I mean, I'm not cutting anything. Um, you should not fast forward. You should be patient and do a nice job. If you're in my art class, I mean, you have to because it's for a grade, right? But if you're just doing this for fun, just, you know, the intrinsic value associated with a job well done. It's priceless. You know what I mean? So do your best. No matter what. Just in life. That's a good rule. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the coloring. Um, once you've got to this point, it's time to put the stripes in. So remember, we're doing this warp speed effect. So I'm going to pick a slightly darker purple. I'm going to pick this purple. And I'm going to go in every direction now as from the from the point so maybe I'll just keep a finger right here this is the midpoint of the paper about and you don't have to like uh, one thing that I have to remind myself to avoid is it doesn't have to be like I don't have to go to the center of each uh, like wedge of the because essentially you're creating wedges right as you go around as you go around like this 
it's like a pie that you're dividing up. Oh, man. Pie. So the point is uh, it doesn't have to be like super symmetrical. You can go closer to some lines and farther away from some lines so that it's, uh, you know, it's kind of random. Okay. I'm going to pick this uh, more orange red color. Oh, I'm not. The lead broke. I'm going to give up on that. Should I? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not going to put as much of the orange on. It's not that it's not bad. I kind of like it, but I don't want to, like, I don't want it to become about the orange. Um, great. So I'm done with those. I'm going to set those aside. I need to do the, oh, the roller because they're round. That's what round things do. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to go with a yellow kind of a goldish yellow here. This is my favorite part. Um, here's why this the shading when you when you go with the bladed Sharpie and you do the shading. This is what makes it for me really a pop art piece. It looks like a, an old fashioned comic book and that's what I like about it. So let's do this. I'm gonna, here's the thing that I didn't anticipate before I started. The fact that I went with black hair means that I need to figure out, well, hold on, let me show you this. I'm not going to go all the way to the end of that F. I'm just going to come up here like that. That way it looks like it's farther away from the shadow. Um, I've got to figure out, I'm going to have to come up with a way to do a line here and a line here so that you definitely get that it's a shadow and just not like her, her hair is not doing something weird. Okay, same thing here. I'm not going to go all the way to the end. I'm just going to go to there and I'm just going to go to there. All right. Then on the A, I'm going to drop down from the top, draw a line that is parallel with that and come down and then not go all the way to the end. All right, so there is your Christmas angel. I think it turned out really well. I'm sure yours did too. Uh, so that's it for now. Merry Christmas.